What's going on guys? Welcome to the Happy Hydro YouTube channel. For all you that don't know me, my name's Aaron. For everyone else that does, welcome back. This week we are checking out the Mars Hydro FC 4800. Great 4x4 light for any personal grow. So why wait? Let's go check it out. All right, back at it again another week and we are testing out another light. It is the FC 4800 from Mars Hydro. And before we go any further, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on those notifications so you can stay up to date and in the loop. Well, let's check out this light. So it is a foldable light, so you're not going to get this huge package on your front doorstep, but it still is a larger box. So I slide it on out and get it on my little test table, and the first thing I notice is the wave-shaped passive cooling design on the back of your light bars. What's nice is that this light comes pretty much assembled, I mean other than some hanging assist, your ratchet hangers, and the power cord, and a couple of brackets for your driver, uh, there's not really much to put together. Another thing that caught my eye was these really nice hinges that help with that folding action. Taking a quick peek at the driver, you know you have the switch for either your dimming setting or your external setting. So if you're using a controller and it's dimmable anywhere between 10% and 100%. And a couple of channel ports, this way you can daisy chain more lights together and you can do up to 30 fixtures. I got this light opened up and you can see that it is jam packed with Samsung diodes. These are top bin horticulture diodes. And I guess I have a real wandering eye for this hinge over here, because here we go again. And those Samsung diodes are going to crank out that full phase spectrum, so feel free to use this light from seed all the way to bloom. And Mars Hydro boasts about an enhanced blue light and red light. You know, blue promotes growth, red really helps those plants mature. It's made with some pretty heavy duty hardware. You get a couple options with the driver. It is detachable, so you can mount it to the light just by using these brackets and uh, kind of spacing them out so they fit on those light rails. Or you can mount it outside the tent if you're having an issue with heat or anything. Let there be light. Now, this is a bar style LED. It is good for any personal grow room, uh, particularly a four x four grow tent. The dimensions on this light is 32.7 inches by 32.3 inches and just around 4 inches tall. And with the weight of just around 20 pounds, you shouldn't have any problems hanging in your tent and adding any extra weight to it. This light does a really good job of supporting the growth and cultivation of your indoor plants because of its wide range and its full spectrum. And like I was saying earlier, with those blue boosted and red boosted diodes, it's really going to help promote the growth and also the maturation of those plants. And just some hard specs for all you nerds out there. We have a system efficacy of 2.85 micromoles per joule and a light output PPF of 1366 micromoles per second. Here you can see Mars Hydro's own personal PPFD data chart, um, and that should help you kind of hone in your plants and that light strength for you. And there's only one way to find out those numbers, and we are going to pop this light into our 4x4 test tent, which we have already done, but I am going to my Apogee MQ520 to get some PPFD readings on that and see what we can find out. So the two heights that I did my tests at were recommended by Mars Hydro themselves, which we're going to start with our 8 inch hanging height um, at 25% power. You see lower numbers around 90 to 200 to 300 depending on where you're looking. And just a little disclaimer, I did speed up this footage a little bit so I am getting good readings. It's just faster because I know you guys don't just want to sit there all day and watch me move my little wand around, but I appreciate you watching. so. Keep it going.
and at 8 inches and 75% power, I'm seeing around 300 to 400 to 500 along the sides and all the way up to about a th almost, yeah, 1,100 in the middle there. I also did see recommendations that if you are using this light at the 8 inch hanging height and 100% power, you're more likely than not using CO2 with your grow. Uh, so that'll help in pushing those plants a little bit further and getting a little bit more out of them. Not saying you have to use CO2 in your grow, uh, but it does help with a little bit more respiration and photosynthesizing of those plants. Uh, but you know, if you have, if you don't want to, or it's just not an option for you, they will have more than enough energy and food to get those plants boosted. And here we are, the second hanging height, which is 12 inches. And we started off at 25% power, but we're moving into that 50% power range and seeing around 250 to 100 in the corners, about 300 on the sides, and all the way up to about 600 in the middle, 550. And checking out our final measuring height, uh, it's 12 inches at 100% power. We're seeing around 800 to 600 on the sides, dropping all the way down to about 450 in the corners. And then once you get back to that middle area, you can definitely see readings around 1200. And the last little tidbit I got for you is using our kilowatt tool, I plugged my light into that 120 volt outlet and I'm showing 4.25 amps and around 480 watts. Man, those people at Mars Hydro really know what they're doing. Well, that's it for this week. Check back again for more of your favorite Happy Hydro people doing what they do best, just having fun and helping you out. So as always, stay happy, friends.